Hello, I'm Georgie and this is your Week in Tech. Rock Pamper Scissors has raised £1.2 million from investors, including 500 startups and Seedcamp, to strengthen their tech team. Syndicate Room has raised £3.1 million for its investor-led equity crowdfunding platform. Bracey, a Birmingham-based startup, has raised £490,000. Bracey helps the hard of hearing with the sound recognition platform, which converts environmental sound into visual and sensory smartphone notifications and alerts. TransferWise, the international money transfer platform, has closed a round of $26 million, led by Bailey Gifford. The round brings the total funding to $117 since it was founded in 2011. This week, the co-working space Tomorrow launched in Croydon. It's the largest and most prestigious tech hub in South London and part of the government's £7 billion investment into the regeneration of the area. Croydon is now officially the fastest growing tech cluster in London, with more startups built there last year than anywhere else. French investigators have raided Google's Paris headquarters, saying the company is now under investigation for financial fraud and organised money laundering. The software giant is suspected of evading taxes by failing to declare the full extent of its activities in the country. Tinder is suing 3 Inder for trademark infringement. Tinder's claim is based on the supposed pronunciation of 3 Inder and is asking the independent app for threesomes to shut down its website and remove all references to its name, including those by third-party sources. Our download of the week is Spoon Guru. Spoon Guru helps those with specific dietary requirements to figure out what they can and can't eat. Users simply create a profile and enter their details. There are a range of options from gluten-free and organic to vegetarian or vegan. You can even scan a product's barcode to find out if it's suitable. And finally, are you guilty of overspending? The Pavlok wristband can be set to monitor a user's habits. Once you've set your own rules, the band will give you an electric shock if you spend too much. So why not let a wearable take the shock out of your credit card bill? This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.